In this video, I'm going to show you how to send form submission events to Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. So one of the most common types of uh, use cases to send events is to send events when somebody completes a form on your, on your website, right? Because uh, that's typically a lead for, um, for your sales team or it's a new subscriber into your email automation or what have you. So um, there's also a lot of different ways to implement because uh, the constraints are usually uh, regarding what kind of form you're using. So you might be using like a third party form that has certain limitations. So you have to kind of work around uh, those constraints. Um, but the most common use case I think is just uh, being able to, to listen to a form submission and then grab the ID from the form because most forms have an ID and, uh, and if, if not, you can easily enter one if you have access to it. Uh, and then from there, uh, be able to get all the information you need to, to Google Analytics. So uh, let's uh, go through the steps. So first we're gonna create a trigger. Uh, actually, let's uh, look at the form first. So, uh, so here's, here's a form, here's a test form on my website. And you'll see in the dev uh, console, um, the ID of test form. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get this uh, ID and then um, create it as a label so that we can see it in our Google Analytics dashboard. Um, so we first um, want to go to Google Tag Manager and then from here we're we're going to create a trigger to listen for form submissions. So here it is. Here's the trigger. And later we're going to create this, right? So, um, and this is the tag where the uh, form submission will be triggered from. So let's X out of there. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna enable the form ID, which is a built-in variable. So let's hop over to variables and then go to configure. And from here you have a bunch of different options to choose from. The one that we're concerned with is uh, form ID. So here, if, if your uh, implementation is a bit different, you can you have access to a lot of these other um, variable types. For this case, we'll just enable form ID. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to create a tag uh, for to track the events. And then we want to trigger that tag on the form submission that we just created. And then we'll apply these attributes. So let's go, go to tags. Here's a tag that I created. Let's open that up. So it's an event track type. This is uh, just you know some static uh, fields that I put in here. And then here's where where we have to access that form ID variable. So just uh, click in here, and then all of your variables type will will pop up. So let's uh, Let's refresh the preview and then do a test example and then have a look at the analytics dashboard to see if that right data is coming uh, coming through. So I think that's refresh. Let's close the, the console, open up the debugger, and let's refresh the page. So I'm gonna do command click to simulate that form submission. So here we see that it did fire, which is great. Uh, let's click on form submit here and have a look at the variables. So here's the, the form ID. So that we were able to capture that. So that's looking pretty good. And let's have a look at the analytics dashboard and see if that came in. So this is the, the event. Um, test form is the event label that came in before what I, what I had uh, was uh, pulling in the, the page path. So that's, um, that's looking at the, um, this part of the URL. Pretty much um, everything after that dot com is considered the page path. Uh, and that might work for you too, but if you have, uh, if you have multiple forms on your site, uh, then you might want to drill down to the ID level. And then from there, at least in analytics, you can say, oh, okay, that form submission was actually for this particular form. Uh, so there you have it. Hopefully you found this uh, helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to throw them down in the comments and I'll do my best to, to respond to them.